ओके धन सो इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन करंट थ्रू आउट द रेजिस्टेंस थ्रू आउट ईच रेजिस्टेंस इज सेम यू कैन सी दिस सर्किट दिस इज अ सेल ओके एंड दिस इज अ वायर एंड ऑन दिस वायर वन रेजिस्टेंस इज कनेक्टेड एन अदर रेजिस्टेंस एन अदर रेजिस्टेंस दिस इज अ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन थ्रू ईच रेजिस्टेंस through each resistor the current is same now we will discuss the parallel combination now we will discuss the parallel combination so in parallel combination always remember the potential difference across each resistance remain same potential difference across each resistance remain same in parallel potential difference potential difference or voltage across each resistance is same across each resistor is same and series combination is like this Hmm? Something like this series combination. This is R one. I am taking three resistances connected in parallel. This is parallel combination, not the series combination. This is R two. this is resistance r3 this is a cell of voltage v okay cell of voltage v in series combination voltage across this r1 will be v voltage across this r2 will be v Vo voltage across this r3 will be v okay now this is a junction point now current will flow like this suppose i current is flowing like this like this now this is the junction point now and here are three branches so current will be divided current will be divided through each branch so in this branch from this i current i1 current will go here i2 current will go here and i3 current will go here I two current is going in R one. I two I one current is going in R one. I two current is going in R two. I three current is going in R three. And we know that I is equal to I one plus I two plus I three because I is divided into I one, I two, I three. But the potential difference across I two and R three is same. So here the potential difference is V. okay here also the potential difference is v here also the potential difference will be v now we know that i is equal to r i1 plus i2 because i is dividing into i1 i2 i3 so i can write i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 okay now equivalent circuit of this circuit i instead of these three resistances i am connecting one equivalent resistance that will be r e hmm and this is cell of voltage v and current current is i so you can write from here i is equal to v divided by r e r e is the equivalent resistance
re is equivalent resistance okay now i can be written as i1 plus i2 plus i3 because current is dividing current is dividing through this branch now if there are branches in the wire then current will be divided so i can be written as i can be written as v by re now i1 can be written as v by r1 i2 can be written as v by r2 i3 can be written as v by r3 now here will be v by re is equal to take v common from here 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 you will have 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 this v and b will be cancel out so equivalent resistance in parallel combination will be 1 upon re is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 if there are n resistances connected in parallel then equivalent resistance is given by 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 plus 1 upon r4 plus 1 upon r5 and so on for n resistances connected in parallel one upon r equivalent is equal to one upon r1 plus one upon r2 plus one upon r3 plus one upon r4 and so on plus one upon r of nth resistance Hmm. one question i am taking azan can you tell me the answer of this question uh, calculate the equivalent resistance when two resistances of 3 ohm and 6 ohms 2 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in parallel means what they are saying something like this no and this is it is connected parallel this is 3 ohm this is 6 ohm so r equivalent you will find so it will be 1 upon r1 uh, r equivalent is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 you can calculate this uh, 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 1 upon 3 plus 1 by 6 now i will take 6 lcm 3 to the 6 it will be 3 by 6 so r equivalent you will get 6 by 3 2 by 
to O. Now there is one more way. If two resistances are connected in parallel, so you will write one upon R one plus one upon R two. So from here you will take the LCM R one R two, and in numerator you will have R one plus R two. Now when you will find R equivalent, it will be R one R two divided by R one plus R two. You can remember this result also for two resistances. You can write. Equivalent resistance R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Product of the resistance divided by the sum of the resistance. Now we'll solve this question. This circuit is given, and this question is given. In the circuit diagram given alongside, find uh, in the circuit diagram given this is the circuit diagram. Find the total resistance of the circuit. First question. Second, total current flowing in the circuit. Very easy. The potential difference across R1. The potential difference across R1. Now see total resistance we have to find. Now you can see here, this eight ohm and twelve ohm are connected in eight ohm and twelve ohm are connected in parallel combination. End to end connection is parallel combination. You can see here, parallel connection is like this. End to end connection. Hmm. So this connection is parallel connection. Eight ohm and twelve ohm are connected in parallel. So eight ohm and twelve ohm are connected in parallel. So how you will find the resultant of eight ohm and twelve ohm? Means. Resultant of R2 and R3. This is R2 and this is R3. So resultant of R2 and R3 is given by R2 multiplied by R3 divided by R2 plus R3. And what is R2? 8 into 12. 8 plus 12. It will be 96. Or you can say 8. You can write 8 into 12. It will be 12 plus 8. Twenty, so you can cancel this. Four to the eight, four five the, so it will be four point eight. I think uh, it will be five. It will be zero point four. It will be four point eight ohm. So resultant of eight ohm and twelve ohm is you are getting resultant of this. You are getting four point eight. Now the resultant of this means four point eight and seven point two are connected in series. Hmm? So you can write R two three. That is forty four point eight ohm, and R one. That is seven point two ohm. Are connected in series. Series, so you can find the resultant of this and this. Very easy. R, you can find R one two three. This is the resistance one two three resultant. So product of two resistance divided by sum of two resistance means it will be R two three multiplied by R one divided by R two three plus R one. R two three Is 4.8 multiplied by 7.2 divided by 4.8 plus 7.2. It will be 4.8 multiplied by 7.2 divided by. This will be 12. Hmm. 
seven and seven and four eleven and point eight and point two one eleven plus one will be twelve. So it will be zero point four. Hmm? And when you will multiply it, you will get zero point four. I uh, mean seventy two divided by four. It will be two eighty eight and two point eight eight. You will get two point eight eight ohm will be the resultant or equivalent resistance. First answer total resistance. So this is total resistance. What we did first we have calculated the equivalent resistance. these are connected in parallel that will be 4.8 now the equivalent of this that is 4.8 and 7.2 are in series and this is the battery connected now equivalent a circuit you will have a resistance of 2.88 is connected with a battery of 6 volt you can find the current Answer number B. So I is equal to V by R. R equivalent. Hmm. R equivalent is R one two three. That will be six divided by two point eight eight. So this will be the current. So you will when you will remove point, you will get six hundred divided by two eighty eight. Can cancel this with three or uh, two. It will be three hundred. It will be one four four. Again, you can cancel this. This will be one fifty. This will be seventy two. Again, you can cancel. This will be thirty six. This will be seventy five. Hmm. Now again with three you can cancel. Three one the three. Three two the six. Three two the six. Three five the fifteen. So you will have twenty-five by twelve. Now twenty-five, uh, twelve to the twenty-four. It will be one point zero zero and zero. It will be two point zero eight. Okay. So the current will be two point zero eight amperes. Okay. After this understanding, Azan, current is equal to potential difference divided by the equivalent resistance because we want to find the total resistance, total current. Now go to this circuit. In this circuit, you can see here they are asking current through this. So. Uh, they are asking the potential difference through this so what is the current through this 2.08 ampere current is 2.08 ampere now you can find the uh, voltage that is v1 v1 is voltage through r1 this is v1 v1 is equal to i into r1 what is current 2.08 multiplied by 7.2. Hmm. Yes, sir. Hmm. So we will get 14 point nine seven. Six volt. They can ask you the potential difference across eight ohm or twelve ohm also. So then, how how you will calculate? It is the answer is wrong here. We have done some calculation mistake because fourteen point nine seven six cannot be the answer because six volt is we we have the battery of six volt. and we are getting this much answer so means we have done some mistake here i think
we have to check right answer mm problem oh shit Azan, you also not telling me. You can see here the seven point two and four point eight are in series or parallel. In par series combination, so we have to add. So sad. So it will become twelve. Yeah. What have done? They are not. They are in series. I have written here. You can also tell me. So okay, no problem. So what will be the equivalent resistance? Means R one two three. It will be R two three plus R one. That will be four point eight plus seven point two. Seven plus four eleven point eight point two one eleven plus one twelve ohm. So this equivalent resistance will be twelve ohm. It will be two. We have done so much of calculation. Okay. So I is equal to V by R. V by R equivalent. Hmm. V by R one two three. R one two three is what? Total resistance. Okay, this is total resistance. Remember, I have represented in terms R one two three. So it will be six uh, divided by I is equal to V by R. R is twelve. So it will be zero point five ampere. So current total current total current flowing in the circuit is. 0.5 ampere so here the current will be not this value in between if you are doing wrong then you will get that you are doing wrong why i from where i have i got because i was getting the resistor uh, vo voltage through this I was getting voltage through 7.2 resist, uh, ohm resistance, 14 point something. But the battery is of 6 volt. This is not possible. Hmm? Okay. So basically, what what current going? 0.5 ampere current. Now you can very easily find V1. V1 is equal to I into R1. I is 0.5, and it is 7.2. So it will be 3.6 volt. Okay. If if they were asking, so we have done the third part also. If they were asking, this is answer number C. If they were asking, find the. Okay. Suppose uh, fourth part. I have added fourth part. Potential difference across. R two and R three. Then what we will, what you will do? If they are asking the potential difference through R two and R three, in this case, what you will do? You know that total resistance is is six volt. This is first. This is answer number first. Okay. This is answer number not B second. This is answer number third. Answer number fourth. So you, you know that total resistance, a uh, total voltage is six volt. Total voltage is six volt. That will be divided through this R one and this whole four point eight means R two three. So it will be voltage V one plus voltage across 
R two three. So total voltage is six volt, and V one you have three point six plus V two three. So from here you can find V two three. That will be six minus three point six. Two point eight you will get. So you will get two point eight volt. Now through this circuit, the total resistance is total voltage is two point eight volt. And we know that in parallel combination, each resistance will have same voltage. So R three will have two point eight volt across R two. The voltage will be of two point eight volt. Understanding now? So you should know each and every step. Okay, write down. The series and parallel combination is most important topic of this chapter. Scroll down. Yes, sir.
Has one done? No, sir. One okay. This is parallel combination. Now write down this one. Okay, for two resist if two resistances are connected in parallel, you have to learn this result. This result will save your time. R1 plus R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. That will be the equivalent resistance when two resistances R1 and R2 are connected in panel combination. And I have used this relation here. Here also. Okay. Write down. Done,
Done, sir. Done, sir. Benzo. Okay, then. So, see, question number 11. And this is the resistance, okay? They have made resistance like this. In some books, you will find resistance like this also. And you can show the resistance like this also. Okay. So, 500 ohm and 1 kilo ohm resistance. What is this connection? In which combination these resistances are? These resistances hmm? very series, series combination. Yeah, good. And these two resistances are in parallel, sir. parallel combination. And this is the mixed combination. Mixed combination means series, some resistances are connected in parallel, and some resistances are connected in series. Now, tell me this 4 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in. Series or parallel combination? Try to think. Sir, which one? Uh, this one, this which? 4 ohm and this 6 ohm, this, this one. This 24 uh, volt battery is connected. And this 4 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in parallel. Why? Because these are connected end to the, the C. C. First end of this resistance is connected to the end of the battery, second of this resistance, resistance is connected to the end of the battery. Now, for 6 ohm resistance, first end, first end is connected to the one end of the battery, another one end of the battery. So, if this type of combination will be there, then it will be a parallel combination. You can see here, uh, across this 4 ohm, okay, across this 4 ohm, uh, the voltage is 24 volt. Okay, because this 24 volt battery is across this 4 ohm and across 6 ohm is the same thing. Means this 24 volt is across 6 ohm also. So try to identify. Okay, identifying is most important part. Otherwise, you can solve very easily. For example, this is 500 ohm. You can solve this in one minute. This is 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo ohm means 1000 ohm. So it will be, you will add, when you will find the equivalent resistance, you will add 500 plus 1000, 1, it will be 1500. 
so equivalent resistance of this will be 1500 ohm now for this for this connected in parallel so equivalent resistance you can find multiplication of 2 into 2 2 plus 2 2 to the 4 4 4 by 4 is 1 so it will be 1 ohm now for this combination for this combination you will find 4 and 4 you will you will get 2 okay and this 3 ohm is connected here so now here 2 ohm and 3 ohm connected and it's are connected in series so equivalent resistance for this you will get 5 ohm now for this 4 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in series so equivalent resistance 4 into 6 4 plus 6 it will be 24 it will be 10 so it will be 2.4 ohm very easily you can solve but for that first you have to understand which combination is there hmm? okay so you can write down the question number 12 only because this is good question as compared to these question so write down only question number 12 an equivalent resistance you can find first multiplication of two resistance then divide the sum of two resistances 